Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jai Singha, coordinator of CE201C. This is another video lecture and this video lecture is continuation of previous video lecture about analysis of stress in 2D. So, previous lecture covered analysis of stress in 2D for plain stress problem. So, at that time, we got idea about two type of 2D stressors. We can study one we call the plain stress case, other one we call the plain strain case. Plain strain. Plain stress. And under 2E, under CE201, we are going to focus only about plain stress case. So, previous lecture cover about what is the definition of plane stress and how we are going to define plane stress by using definitions and same time we use, we use stress block to explain about this 2D plane stress element and we realize finally when you come to the 2D stress element we need to find three stress components two normal stresses and one shear stress okay so if you have defined stresses component stresses component of any 2d plane stress case you need to find these three component okay so very simple so after that we shift to transformation of stress and target was if we have Think about like given axis is this and if you know the stress that means like actually tau x so sigma x sigma y and tau x y of this coordinate system how about how about any other coordinate system we think about like I will draw draw top of that one then easy so if we have this kind of rotations y bar x bar what going to happen these three components on this new axis system so simply we're going to rotate and we're going to check it okay so this is our general case vertical cut and after that this is the given system and any other system how we're going to find the variation of these component okay this is stress component two normal stresses and one CA stress okay so we got this general element and after that we are interested about like a theta angle plane and we got like this cut and again I will put the reality is like this is our interest point of course we are defined this as this one as like a square or rectangle but really is we are explaining or we are presenting stress of this point okay so we are getting cut any cut you can take out it's theta okay this is this element and after that we are going to think about equilibrium of this one and based on the equilibrium we are going to find the normal stress of this plane and CI stress component of this plane. When you come to the CI stress, in this course we define the CI stress tau will go positive, uh, tau will positive if we have clockwise direction. Okay, so clockwise we take as a positive. Okay, it differ from other books. Some books are using positive as anti-clockwise also. Okay. So carefully you need to refer the books, especially in your textbooks, they use other directions. Okay, now based on this we realize and we generate two equations. Okay, these are the two equations. From this equation you can get variation of normal stress with rotation angle theta. And here variation is sig uh, tau, that means here is stress with the theta. These are the two fundamental equations for Shear stress analysis of 2D plane stress problem. And after that, of course, we apply these things to known 
values known planes and we check cross check with its work or not and then we come to this one this is actually deficient again and we realize this is a, there are two invariant here so in from this one we realize so normal stresses addition of normal in this case okay plane stress case 2d plane stress case addition of normal stressors is a constant it's not going to change with your uh, your rotation angle okay rotation uh, coordinate rotations so this call we call this thing to invariant keep in mind this is not individual going to equal but the additions okay and after that this this equation of course you can use it no problem at all and i try to modify rearrange this thing to in different manner because at that time also i explained clearly i am going to use this modify equation for today's session that means geometric representation of stresses by using more circle these are the modify equation and here we can see extra parameters are coming of course these are constant for given system r and p okay now already you know the definition of phi it's like a phase shift and you can find major first principle major uh, major stress principal stress when theta equal phi so i already explained those things and minor one we can observe theta equal p plus 90 okay so today we will see about what is a why, why we need this r where we can use r and any definition for r okay and this is one type of geometry uh, this is actually graphically interpretation of these stresses and this is normal stress and this is shear stress from this one we realize maximum and minimum point those things we call uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 major and minor uh, principal stresses at that time angle also we identify clearly and the maximum tau of course that also identify and the main thing when when we come to the sigma 1 or sigma 2 position so at that time we cannot see any shear that's the main thing tau is going to equal to zero okay and after that after that these are the definitions of major and minor principles okay and this is again explaining about like a difference plane how you're going to define and with the example we identify how you're going to use this equation for stress analysis the main important thing is like a of course you can get like a the given system and after that this given system you need to map for your standard element and after that you can find the variables or rather the variable parameters and next you can substitute this parameter for your equation and you can get the results so it's very simple and this second example also same so similar manner you can get it okay so now we're going to represent or now we're going to start our new session today session and this is of course what we are going to geometrically interpret 2d stress of course now we know the equations equations for sigma n and tau n for any plane and here the method we are using more circle of course more circle we can use for represent stressors yes correct stressors and strains okay and yes again you can go to 2d or in the 3d case also 3d case also but in here we are going to use this method more circle methods to represent stress in 2d okay stress in 2d okay okay so yes you are correct so we have this variation with us we know individually how it's going to vary okay but we like to see how if we're going to combine integrate the sigma and tau together how it's going to vary in one plot that's the thing today we're going to learn through more circle okay so okay we can go to this one 
yes very simple this one so this is the modify two equations okay modify two equation you can see r and phi here and i will define this a and b what actually i'm going to do i try to put this one to in this side this side and i try to square this side both side okay these are scalar values scalar equations you do you don't need to worry if you vector so there's a problem to uh, square in no any other operation in here nothing so just put it to there square and this one also both side you can square without trouble and the next one these are the squared equation and next one what actually i'm going to do i'm going to add these two equation then this right uh, left side no left side you can add without trouble and right side when you have it you can see this is cos squared and sine squared you know cos squared any angle plus sine squared alpha should equal to one so by using that relation so you can simplify this equation to these kind of very nice with the arrange well arrange equation and yes you can look at this closely this one then you can realize this going to represent circle okay in here this is a standard circle equation you know from a levels okay a levels you know this one and when you come to the here you can see sigma n going to represent x variation tau n going to represent y variation and the center of course in general this circle h and k h going to equal this one this is actually average sigma average you know sigma average you can calculate it and k in here you cannot see anything so it's going to zero so that means it should need to lie on this sigma n axis okay and r going to represent this capital r going to represent radius of your circle so very nice definition for this one r okay so now now nicely with one diagram we don't know it of course is going to make a circle like something like here this is tau n okay i, I will show you how you're going to define or how you're going to develop these things and think about this way now any point of any point on this circumference q the state of that particular angle is stress condition okay very simply i, I will show you how you're going to do so the, that's the thing of course in uh, the before one we have a graph but we have only the variation of one particular variable tau o sigma now we can see both together what going to happen in one diagram one particular diagram okay these are the definitions you can read and trans uh, transform the equation of plane stress can be represented graphically by plot known as Mohr circle okay the graphical representative extremely useful yes because it enable you to visualize that's the most important thing so now you of course number cannot give good feeling but graphically interpretation or geometric representation will give nice feeling feeling of your system okay so visualization the relation between normal and shear stress acting on various inclined plate any plane actually this is an infinite planes are there okay inclined planes at a point in stress of the body of course point of stress of the body now we will see how we're going to develop this one come to here so step by step you need to follow yes this is your standard element so you know now this is your standard plane stress element okay and i will define two plane this one of my x plane and this one as my y plane okay so here first step is you need to define the axis so when you come to the axis of course you know x sigma going to represent x now going to represent y so simply you can define the axis this is sigma and positive direction this is tau some books some book based on their definition sometimes they put in this direction also it base based on the directions so or based on the their sign convention so but in our case 
our case wait a minute i will remove that one our case our case we are going in this manner so don't confuse with other books okay so but you can you can refer when you're going to refer the book please try to study first their find convention and after that get id okay the next one you need to find the two coordinates for this one you to coordinate like a two point so actually we call the reference points so this reference point i am going to use x and y planes this is x plane and this is y plane so x plane coordinate i need sigma x and tau xy but in this one it is rotate in which direction the standard element is a anti clockwise but our clockwise we are taking the positive so because of that we are putting minus 2 here so now this is this plane going to represent from this point sigma x comma minus tau x you need to calculate it and similar way so you can need you need to find coordinates of this one they normally stress this and this is positive so you don't need to put any minus sign you can put it now what actually you need to do to have access system sigma and tau and you need to mark these two point okay and after that what you need to do you need to connect those two point and we know our center should lie on this sigma axis so then our center should be here now you know the radius of uh, your r this is actual diagonal no? so radius of diameter not here to your diameter so r so get this one and you can take it and you can draw your circle so very simple of course if you are using graph sheet it is just to scale and draw it and get this distance and draw it and after that all those things you can use the your ruler and you can calculate there you can interpret okay well, otherwise what you can do you can go to the re geometric representation geometric relations sorry geometric relation and you can take the whatever the necessary values now we will see okay now we know how to construct this one so you need to first you need to define these two surface x and y and you need to take out the coordinates okay and after that these two coordinate you need to join and you need to create a diagonal actually this is a length is diameter okay so diagonal and you know the cutting point it should be the center of this circle and after that you can draw it okay we'll see next step okay now it's nicely showing here so these are two point and these are two planes okay this plane in here so you can see this is minus that's why here and this is this point x plane point and this is y plane point and after that construct this line and you can identify you can identify center of this one and get this one as radius and draw your circle so you will end up your more circle for your given system okay the most important things in when you come to the here so you can see this is your one uh this reference plane okay so this is we call the x plane this is your second reference plane this we call the y plane so actually this plane to this plane angle you can calculate this should be 90. it's clear it's clear from this diagram it is 90 but when you come to the here this is your x plane this is your y plane here to here it is not 90 90 times 2 so that is the most important thing when you're going to use this more circle there are several methods but in this case or oh, this this section we're going to use a double angle method so this is the most important thing so that means the real arrangement if you are going to rotate if you're going to rotate this one in the theta in this more circle domain you need to rotate that plane to obtain that plane by 2 theta so you can see the reality is from here this x plane to here obtain 
the y plane you need to rotate 90 but when you come to the more circle domain so you need to rotate to time that value so that's the thing here you can see it is 180 okay so keep it in mind so now you know how to develop this circle and this we call this is a reference reference plane actually we use reference plane as x we are taking any rotation from x do you know which direction we are going to counterclockwise is positive okay counterclockwise direction this direction we are taking okay and most next most important thing when you look at this one okay i will put another color when you look at this one where we can see the maximum sigma and minimum sigma very very simply you can find this point give the maximum sigma so then this means would be the major principle major principle value major principle is stress and this is minor principle is stress okay that means if you can calculate this angle that the well, like a, it is like a alpha and alpha half should need to equal to phi you know what is a phi from previous case it should be phi so that means simply this angle should be 2 phi okay so you know about this part sigma 2 you can see from phi plus 90 3 plus 90 so that means the more circle domain it should be multiplied by 2 that means 2 phi this is 2 phi plus 180 okay so we'll see don't worry about these things so we have some examples so some definition so then you can clearly understand okay we'll see to here so this picture will explain those things very clearly okay this is where we can see the maximum sigma this is where we can see the minimum so this is our major principle is stress and this is minor principle is stress of course we are using right hand rule so we are rotating this one the right hand side uh, right hand side right hand rule means like uh, we are using not right hand side this is we call we are using hand and we are curve our fingers we are keeping thumb out and we are curving then it is rotating this direction so that's why we call right hand rule otherwise we are rotating this one anticlockwise simply okay so here the definition is here principal values of course we are obtaining this one real real case we are obtaining this one at phi okay now in this case we are obtaining at 2 phi okay because it's a double angle method we are using double angle of course there are some other methods we call the pole origin methods and some other methods yeah if you are interested so you can check it or search in the internet and you can check it you can you can do it but in this subject this subject we are you going to use we are going to use double angle method okay double angle method so this is the thing so sigma 2 means we need to end up with this value but in the more circles i mean it should be two time so then this is a fee two fee and this is again 180 so you can obtain the your minimum and major values and tau max where we can see from that diagram i will go quickly and i'll show you where is our diagram okay this one so this diagram we can see tau at this level so this is a tau max point in more circle when you come then it should be need to multiply by 2 so that means 2 feet time 90 so 2 feet time 90 we'll see 2 feet time 90 sorry sorry too much too much so here 2 feet time 90 2 feet time 90 you can obtain so this means 2 feet time 90 i will erase these things too much things now uh, i will go through this way this is easy okay so so now you can see 2 feet time 90 means 2 feet here 90 here so here we can see the maximum tabs okay so this is simple definition if you need a stress component of plane theta so you need to rotate by 2 theta simply in the more circle so if you are interested about theta this is my reference line reference plane from that reference plane if you are 2 theta that means i will again erase those things 
so then we need to rotate two time theta so this is the stress situation that i need so what i need to do i need to project this one i need to find sigma n at that plane and i need to project this direction i need to find tau n at that plane okay so simply you need to find those things okay so if you need more explanation i can go with this figure because this figure simply explain everything so this is my reference plane so you know the reference plane this is the way of stressors tau in top direction that when this is a minor direction okay and positive sigma x sorry sigma direction is positive so sigma x is in this direction so this is the your y direction 90 degrees so that means like here to here 180 so this is the situation in here we can see positive tau okay clockwise tau and after that i am going to explain about like a principal uh, principal planes when you come to theta actually this is 2 phi 2 phi and i will replace at this this as a 2 theta p1 so first principal angle so with this angle you can see your sigma 1 here so that means this situation and from here to 90 or otherwise here to if you come to here to 180 so you can see your second or minor principal angle so i will put like the theta p2 so second principal angle or second principal or second uh, principal plane so whatever the things you can use it the d means if you have any any general rotation in the theta so you need to put as a double theta so two theta and this is a d point yes of course if you're going to develop your element you need a 90 degree one so then 90 degree mass is like a here to here 180 it is a f point you can take out this stress result and you can develop the your element so here you can see average here this one sigma 1 plus sigma 2 of course these are invariant rather than using sigma 1 and sigma 2 you can use sigma x plus sigma y so then simply you can get the your center and this is how you're going to find the values this length divided by this length you can get this angle so i will again erase this thing if you're interested about this angle so what you can do is like you can get an arrangement for here to here or otherwise yes then arrangement to here to here or any other way you can find this angle okay so no problem at all or otherwise you can go with here simply so you can start and this is the definitions and you can simply find this value you can find simply c value r simply you can see r means difference between those two thin half of that we different of course you need to calculate the diagonal one diameter and after then half of that okay so simply uh, you can calculate okay this one then two theta of course coming from this one so simply you can take it uh, this definition so very easy. this definition this is cos and sine if you divide by this one so simply then 2 is r is going out then 2 times tau x y defined by sigma x minus sigma y okay this is tan tan theta okay so simply you can go through and simply what do you need to do like you need to use a geometric uh, relations so just draw it just draw this one just draw it and after that you need to understand understand the situation understand these arrangement and based on that try to find the values based on uh, this arrangement so simply then you can uh, find the whatever the relevant things so keep in mind the most important things is like a 2 theta and the first of course you need to define the angle x and y and after the reference plane and you need to do whatever the things based on that reference plane and and if you need to rotate theta in here you need to rotate 2 theta and based on that you can identify the plane identify the 
your component and after that you need to find from your geometric knowledge so that's a simple yeah okay so now we can shift to some kind of example actually i'm going to explain two example and from this how you you can get some idea how you're going to use this more circle for stress analysis of course you know now how we're going to use for stress analysis for equations and here we're going to check how we're going to use same type of arrangement same type of stress analysis for more circle okay come to here so this is my first question and here please read this one this is my given element okay in here we can clearly see according to the definition tau is going to zero tau zero that means clearly you know if any plane tau zero that means this plane we can define as a principal planes actually this is my principal x direction principal plane first principal plane and this my second principal plane because tau zero in this plane here we can see only two normal stresses sigma x this much sigma y and this much okay and here what they are asking so theta he need to rotate and theta 30 and find determine the stress acting on the block inclined angle theta equal 30 okay so here the first thing of course you need to map this value for your standard value so and of course you don't need to map it here because it is already in the standard element so directions are correct so otherwise you need to map it and after that next one you need to define this planes x and y plane you need to find the coordinate of that one here x plane of course 90 0 because of tau 0 this is 20 0 and i am rotating angle theta equal 30 and average or otherwise center of your circle you can find this way or this way both okay because of here this one we need to calculate we don't know now but we know this x and y so if you know the x and y based on that x and y you can calculate this one you know this one again i am talking sigma 1 plus sigma 2 should be equal to sigma x plus sigma y because these are invariants it independent from rotation rotation angle okay so now you know the develop so come to here so this is my x x plane and this is my y plane okay x and y so in here this is zero so this is only we can see this value here put it and why we can put it now after that you can get the center half of that and of course it should be in the average value from distance from average value and after that next is a construction so when you come to construct i need to rotate in 30 but in the more circle you need to rotate in the root theta that means like a 60 so this is my reference x plane from here you need to use right hand rule that means you need to rotate this one in with direction and it will quite direction when you come to the here so this is the plane i am interested actually this is a plane but if you need to develop a uh, stress element think about like a stress element at least you need to know this stresses and this stresses both so if you are this is your plane now and if you're interested to, have to develop a stress and you need to come to 180 more so that means these two points you need to calculate okay so simple these two things calculate this is after that the after that nothing ce201 finish and after that you need to use your o level or a level mathematics to calculate these two values because of this is a just circle inside of circle there are two points and you have some parameters based on this parameter you need to find these values okay so r of course you need can find directly r half of this so this is a half of this 20 and 90 you know is the 35 you need to you know this is megapascal okay we are using megapascal megapascal okay now i am interested about like finding this point when you come to the finding this point what you need to do i will erase this one so i don't need to tell this thing actually so just plot it this one so i need to find this value so you know this value without trouble this is average and you need to find this one so you can use this triangle and please find it this value and sigma n2 also same so then what you need to do like from here to here you can calculate and you can remove this one then you will end up with this value okay so 
So simple way you can calculate it. And Tau N also same. When you come to the year, we need to project here. So this value you need to find. So this is 60 and this would be 30 then. So based on that one, you can calculate Tau N also. So this is the value. Very simple. So very simple things you need to do. Now you know about like these planes. This is your plane, this plane value and this plane normally stress and we need only three component this is tau and this is positive positive means we are target element target element means like a target so target plane that should rotate in which direction clockwise direction this direction okay so now you can go and interpret this is our given element of course this actually we can put this one to tp1 because of so tp2 and this is tp one these are principal stresses so principal planes and now we are going to rotate of course in the most circle 60 in here 30 and after that please include this one in here whatever the what are the angle so value 72.5 and put it to there and this 190 degree case in here so it is so 37 37.5 and you are getting this one positive now when so for this plane so this plane then it should be positive means clockwise direction you can mark it if you know this one of course again if you like you can find here also no problem you will end up of course you know how to find it this one no? it should be same value and but sign is opposite so that's why it's coming direction otherwise based on this you can put it no if you know this one it should be in opposite but complementary compound you can use that complementary theory of shear so that should be joined in this way so this is a transfer element same 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 way as the equation so you can do it okay so next we can shift to our second example this is of course your family very family to this example this is the example that we use in equations also equation of stress analysis we use this one to solve this same problem now we're going to use a more circle method to determine principal direction and principal stresses so you can compare the results okay so now in here of course this is our given and we need to plot to this one to standard element then we can find our parameter this is sigma not going to change it y of course not going to change but stress is opposite where standard element should be in this way okay so because of that it will end up with minus four so now define this plane first this plane coordinate sigma x minus tau of course because of minus it is positive so that's why it automatically comes to positive and this is minus so it it come as a minus okay this is tau average center you need to find the center center you can find x plus y divide sorry sigma x plus sigma y divide by 2 so for design variance so now again whatever the necessary important parameter for construct more circle you know now so please develop it now this is positive that y you can see in this point here and here y point and now careful okay now here our reference plane is here okay the reference plane is here what they ask you need to find the principal direction and principal stresses and maximum tau x okay so maximum y of course you can find it clearly maximum tau or minimum of course value wise same but direction wise difference okay now we come to here we are interested about to find our principal directions so principal actually rather than direction principal angles okay so when you come to here so we know this is our first principal major and this is minor uh, minor principal stress so when you come to the here so with these values you can clearly find so if you you first need to find R of course R you can find from this arrangement if you know these two point coordinate you can get the length of this one that's a diameter half of that you can take as R if you know the R if you know the average average plus R give this value your first principal stress major principal stress minor principal stress means average minus R average minus R so these are the two things so tau max of course again this is again directly equal to r no problem at all those are nothing but simply you need to now focus how we are going to find the angles so 
this is the point we are targeting okay this is a plane there then you need to rotate this is your reference one and from here to this point and you need to find that angle so second one of course here to here okay so of course you can see that you can find very easily second one first second one first so you can take you can take this arrangement this arrangement and oh otherwise this arrangement anything you can take out and are you know so you can find this distance and you can you can find 2 p theta actually this is the second one okay so from tan and vice you will end up with this one that means like a you are you here you will end up with not actually i better not to put in this manner so actually this is i will put alpha this one alpha oh, otherwise of course yeah you can use it this way actually i will put this way otherwise you will confuse me this one yes we come to here then so this is your first principal angle yes if you can add 180 you will end up with second one so that's the reality 180 means like a reality you need to add 90 so 19 to 2 so you need to find this one so i will put this as alpha then so it's simple to you alpha so alpha you need to find here so alpha is this value so if you know this value this value plus 180 you can take the first principle actual 2p 2 times first principal angle so that's 256 that means like your first principal angle is 128 okay if you know this one is plus 90 you can take your second principal angle of course this is 38 from other direction i will show you both are same 38 from this direction okay somehow you need to find okay this one of course 38 then is fine but the definition will give like a this way no? that's why i'm using same way 30 is also correct not bad it not like a wrong answer is correct but the definition is like a this that's why i'm using this manner so 120 180 plus 90 okay then you will end up with angle something like here so of course here to here it should be 38 okay i will show you in the figures you come to here so this is your given system and now this is your angle first one of course you end up with here and second sorry sorry sorry, sorry. so i will go with second one so second one second one you need to add another 90 so here to here actually this is second one but if you're going to extend this one this will find this will actually we can find the first compare this one so this angle is 38 okay 38 that's why it's like both are correct 38 but this is sigma 2 not sigma 1 okay this is sigma 1 okay this is our first principal plane this is our second principal plane Oh, otherwise you can find this one as a second principle plane. that's also fine okay but it should be you can see these are parallel lines so no problem at all so you can either find this value wait a minute yeah this one you can define as this way no problem so but uh, some people using alpha and alpha you can find this one you can represent alpha here but then you can find the tp2 is equal tp1 plus 90 all are same all are again same give the same answer you can play with these things and you can simply identify how you're going to resolve this problem so the major thing is are you going to find or how you going to do this one that's the main important things okay so if you know how to do this one 
how to do this one then how to do construct this diagram and after that the finding these values actually all level uh, all level case no actually all level okay so this is an example too of course we will do more example with tutorials or otherwise you can refer your textbooks or internet and you can search and you can uh, you can work it and you know two ways of working this one equation base and more circle and both you can work and compare the result of course you need to end up with the same answers okay so come to here and this is come kind of this is actually last part of this lecture and this is a special case under this one actually i'm going to talk about and where we can see the maximum actually i already explained in the previous lecture when we can see the maximum stressors or it can be like a sigma or that means like a normal stressors or shear stressors we can see the failure or we can see the cracks propagations so in this special case i try to actually focus about these kind of practically examples so we can go to first one very simple one 1d tension case here you can see bar think about like a steel anything bar i am applying force in here so actually i am applying the force if you know the area these are actually very simple cases these are think about like this is area a normal stress and f over a if it is uniformly distributed we can take as a this as a sigma this is we call the normal stresses okay so think about now we know the stresses and we are applying stress and if you plan to take any point in here so stress arrangement like this here we cannot see any stresses coming from this direction okay that means sigma y is going to zero there are no any restriction from this one of course strain there is a some strains okay due to poison effect that's a, that's a different case but we cannot see sigma y in here and same time there are no any tau o tau means a uh, shear stress in this element so we can develop it this one and again you can you can you can define this plane because you know this one tau is going to zero that means this plane should be your principal stresses principal planes this one should be first one and this one should be the second principal plane so now based on this arrangement and previous knowledge of course these are here i am explaining everything and you can construct your more circle without trouble okay and of course you can see in here in first arrangement in this plane we cannot see stresses but we going to rotate you can see is tau also coming to play and at this level we can see maximum tau actually this is maximum tau okay maximum tau think about this one now you have this kind of arrangement and think about this material is there are two things we need to think about like a normal stresses when you come to the normal stresses we are talking about compressive and tension another one is tau oh, shear stresses if this material is weaker in normal stress normal stress then this material will fail under tension or compression okay if it is a, that is a situation if that is a situation then actually where we can see the maximum at this level we can see the maximum maximum normal stresses so that means if if this system going to fail this is the situation or this is the arrangement that that element or that uh, material going to play going to fail if this is if this material is weaker in tension so then you can see cracks will propagate like this perpendicular to this apply stress okay so then if it is a tensile failure you can see your failure surface like this perpendicular to apply apply load yeah if it is a, think about like if your material is weaker in shear compared to tension then where we can see the failure of course at this plane 
this plane is in here this is a 90 and the real system it should be 45 so you can develop this one the 45 angle case and these are the then failure surfaces okay so we can check this one with real one of course you can see this is yeah not 100 percent 45 but almost is a 45 angle this is actually we call under tension shear failure failure in shear of actually loaded bar under tension this is actually uni actually loaded bar but failing in failing in shear but if it is going to fail under tension so you know crack should be propagated like this perpendicular to this one so based on cracks pattern so you can define the failure type if you can see this type of arrangement in the perpendicular crack so then you can assume this is tensile or compressive failure of course if it is come this direction it is a compressive okay in here actually when you come to the compressive so it is a little bit different different case okay actually we can see the crushing and when you come to the 45 angle 45 angle yes you can define or you can assume this may be due to shear failure okay so we can shift to our second case b you know now beams and here actually i'm going to talk about three parts <coughs> sorry a and b and c a is general case when you come to the general case we can see and here I am giving actually uh, with direction actually shagging band with Bowman because of shagging. So it, this is a tension, this is compression. Okay, so in here we can see sigma naught at that level and tau naught at that level. So both we can see, but uh, in beam we cannot see any stresses along y direction. So y components are zero. Okay, in any cases y components are zero. So this is first case, of course, that time we can see normal stress this much is the tension tension case and tau xy where we can see tau xy so it is equal to this value why it is equal to this value because our shear is stress actual shear not a stress shear is going to work in this direction so that means your stress should be in line with that direction okay so based on that it is uh, in this value Okay, so it is due which direction clockwise clockwise uh, rotation. So actually, I'm using this is uh, based on not rotation, but tau x y. Of course, you know if we have this kind of element, your standard element. This is your standard element. You know this one, and this is your arrangement based on this arrangement i am putting this values okay so in here tau x y is in this direction generally but i am it is coming up in the opposite direction that's why i put like a minus tau x tau x naught because of you just first you need to plot it everything to a standard element and after that you can analyze because of everything we are doing based on this standard element okay <clears throat> this is minus tau x so in here b case this is a neutral so this is neutral axis here sigma going to zero so in that mean this case we cannot see any <coughs> so any normal stresses so if you cannot see normal stresses we can see only shear stress so we call this situation the pure city pure shear situation when you come to the here this is a sorry when you come to the here it is opposite of that here we can see only axial forces and she are going to zero this is actually similar to my our previous first case uniaxial case so we'll see one by one this is general one so in here of course sigma one y should be zero because of that it is come to here our first plane y plane and explain it here okay so you can see it is here how not actually it is creating positive so that's why here in here don't confuse okay this is we are plotting or you are mapping to our standard element okay <clears throat> and after that this arrangement nothing so this is we can take it of course this is our major and minor principal values and this is our reference plane you can take out this is my first principal values and 
back to two time principle actually second one should be like this reality is like this it should be to come like this but you know from your knowledge from a levels and this is actually repeating so that's why if enough this much is enough this is something adding like 300 or oh, 300 uh, 180 so given like a both are same results okay so just calculating this one also enough okay so these are nothing so you can work it out and you can calculate sigma 1 and sigma 2 we are actually in here i am especially like to focus other two case b and c case when you come to the b and here only thing you need to understand the beam case our general beam case sigma y going to zero there are no any sigma y in here okay and here we call the pure shear case this is under this category pure shear is coming under this one uh, neutral axis this is a neutral axis no neutral axis case here we cannot see any any sigma y equal sigma x equal zero okay so under this one again you can define it here x and y plane based on that one you can get the uh, coordinate zero tau max tau max is like a tau maximum at that point okay this point this tau max okay don't confuse this one tau max and based on you can define these two coordinate systems and after that this is your reference line and here this is your reference and based on that you can define your this is your second and this is your first principal angle these are the values of principal angle of course yeah, you can see now this sigma 1 should be equal to tau max and sigma 2 should be also equal to tau max value and of course is a minus minus means like this is a compressive and this is a tensile value okay so now we will see what going to happen sorry so in this one principal plane is like this and principal plane is like this 45 angle of course here 90 you can see the 90 degree but here 45 this is the first first we can see second one so that's why the 45 is compressive is compressive value you can plot it at the compressive value and 45 and another year two another value so you can take now that means like a 45 actually 45 plus 45 90 okay 90 you can take out the your first part that will this is i will put as better to put this is sigma 2 and this is sigma 1 and here what actually we can see see can in here this arrangement we cannot see any normal stresses normal stresses but if you can get any cut in 45 angles of course then we can see sigma is developing and that that 45 level we can see the maximum sigma normally stress and that's the principal plane normally if you can see like especially in the concrete concrete structure in the middle this is a middle no? middles if you can observe you can observe in the patrical what actually see at that level we can see the cracks are propagating because of this is the maximum maximum normal stress that this element can take okay if it is if it is ex exciting or if it is like a exceeding actually this material capacity then we can see the cracks are going on this is our tension side okay perpendicular to tension line we can see our crack so this type of crack actually we call the shear failure in concrete because of this actually shear arrangement this is a shear pure shear arrangement of course in the different 45 angle it create normal stress and if normal stress actually at the 45 give the maximum at that particular point and after that due to that one it has some failure okay so these kind of things and the middle of the beams actually we can see this one 45 angle almost a 45 in here almost a 45 so these kind of things we call the shear failure yes now you like to look at like a bending failure of course then you need to go to our last case last case c case okay, when you come to c of course 
you can see of course we already analyzed this one we don't need to analyze again and again this is our principal planes directly and you can if it is like a lecturer failure or otherwise bending failure of course this is the situation we can see the maximum normally stress so if it's a weaker intention at that time so then it will create the bending so fracture cracks so you can go in the beams down most of the cases we can see this kind of this kind of perpendicular crack so your longitudinal direction so these we call the bending crack or fracture crack and these kind of 45 angles we can define as these are the shear cracks and now you know from these arrangement stress analysis we can easily identify the the plane that will create the cracks okay where we can see the maximum stressors sigma o tau and based on that one we can define the failure planes so or otherwise we can we can we can look at and we can interpret so if we have this kind of failures like this kind of failures so we can interpret these things very easily if you know the stressor situations clearly so you can see these are here you can see very nicely in the bottoms perpendicular cracks when you come to near to these actually high stress of course here crack normally we can observe in the uh, observe in support you know that because of we can see the high shear at normally at the supports okay high shear at support no so because of that 45 angle normally we can observe at here it, it start from the middle and propagate it start from 45 in propagating okay so these are other types of crack so final one final one we call the very special case we call the hydrostatic of stresses this 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 is actually in we are working with like fluids when you come to fluid mechanism inside the body fluid body think about like a water water bottle and we are taking about like a point of water okay this is water water and any point of that point any any level think about like what level h height point so if you take about like this kind of point is pressures we call this one to hydrostatic static of high static points so if you're going to analyze this kind of point in here we cannot see any shear stresses so zero and same time any direction pressure is see pressure is not zero pressure is same normal stresses is same pressure is same actually that means like a normal stresses is same so this is actual element for that one both are same if you're going to plot this one actually it will end up with point any direction any direction it will give the same value these are special very special kind of things now this is actually end of this uh this sessions and i will go to front first most important things is when you come to Mosegal construction, most important things, of course, these two equations and after that you can construct. The first thing is how you're going to, I will erase this one. First thing, construction of this one. When you come to the construct, identify the two planes and this is our reference plane and identify the two coordinates and develop this construction lines and identify C and draw the circle after that only thing you need to keep in mind if you need theta in the rotation you need to rotate in the two theta and these are special values that you need to read keep in mind sorry and this is you can get the maximum and this is a minimum or minor principal stress and these are the maximum tau and minimum tau those are the most in, those are the, those are things that you need to keep in mind other than that all are related to your geometric knowledge if you need any point you can get it and only thing you need to keep in mind again and again until it you are rotating two theta so anything is coming from here if you going to put in the real real diagram it need to divide by half divide by two or multiply by half if we're going to other way if you come like a theta in real and if you like to put into more circle you need to multiply by two that's the only thing value wise you don't need to change anything so, okay so this is the end of this one and after that we studied about example and these are the special case 1d case 
we can identify the failure type two type of failures first one tensile failure or otherwise fortify angle shear failure and when you come to the beam there are three situations this is general situation when you come to the here again we can see the pure shear case pure shear case we can see at the 45 angle we can see the maximum 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 normal distresses due to this maximum normal distresses so it will create the shear cracks and it is a 45 almost like a 45 angle shear cracks these are examples and the flexure attack will appear down that may like a this kind of places that is due to the that's due to the normal stresses okay this is a hydrostatic uh, state of pressure so in here we cannot see any stresses so CA stresses and normal stress in any direction same okay so this is the end of this one i will i will shift to sorry i will shift to these things sorry and i will upload this one of course last time also i explained about this uh, these things and this is about like a plane is strength this is actually reading material you don't need to uh, i'm not going to check of course you need these things in the future but in this sessions or this uh, cet not one i'm not going to check this one so this is plane is strain development of the equation already there so you can read and you can get clear idea development of the stress okay these are the two equations you can develop it and you can compare with plane stress problem and plane stress for po strain problems okay analogy about these two things and after that here again i'm going to use more circle to represent this plane strain problem again these are really material so you don't need to worry and in here you can see due to that minus component is come like i am putting this direction positive and this direction positive and here only thing similar to previous case stress case we need to define two coordinates from x and y planes in here this is we are working with like a half because i already explained if you're going to analogy these two things you can see in here is a two time but in here is a half of that in here half of that here half of that because of that we need to get we are going to work with half or actually we can prove this one half of that and when you come to the this analogy component sigma actually with this is plane is stress problem plane is strain problem when you come to the plane is stress sigma x it's going to represent by epsilon x normal is stress so normally strain normal is stress by normal is strains this is y direction normal is stress normal is strain in this direction this is we call a shear component and this is here is strain half of that we're going to represent half okay carefully these are the we are targeting values sigma these are the given values these are the target and value target values of the given planes and sigma and epsilon and if we are targeting here tau but we are taking and this plane is strain problem half of sorry half of uh, what we call uh, shear strains okay so please read this one and this actual reading material by reading you can take the idea and now you know about like a more circle construction similar fashion so you can construct only thing the coordinates these are the two coordinates that you are using it's like a half of that things and of course you can see we are using minus here this is a positive here because of the axis change okay and this is a reading material you can read and you can use for your future 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 works and this is about like a summary of work and actually this is from uh, your textbooks the previous textbook of course you are using now in hit the one this is from here if i'm correct like uh, this and of course here okay this is also from this is also from america so usa so they because of that their sign convention difference again i am putting this one again i am putting this one because not to confuse but to take the idea here you can see we are you in here they are using uh, is a clockwise so anti-clockwise positive shear because of that they are they are end up with their equation here change sign is change compared to our one 
okay so when you are using this book you need to keep in mind that kind of things okay here this one again you can see the summary of these works and this is we call a 3d one and pain stress and pain strain conditions and the stress and strain condition under this one and after that equation generation and here they will end up with opposites but keep it keep it mind so only you better to keep it and when you refer this book so uh, you better recall of course you need to every time you need to check about like the fine convention okay and plane is stress condition what is the plane is stress and what is the plane is strain conditions and maximum CA stress are we going to find we already finished those things okay this is their sign convention okay so you can simply see anti-clockwise they are making positive and this is a plane strain situation so this is related to this and out okay so again this is a reading material this is also reading material so you do you, yeah, my powerpoint is enough for your works okay and plane strain problem and generation of equation and everything's a summary here so these are extra reading material these are 3d actually plane stress for uh, plane stress hooks low for plane stresses and these are a little bit uh not ad i can't tell advanced but some things you can read and understand of course this thing we already know and this thing of course we already know and this thing of course we already know from our previous very first lectures and this is volumetric change so that's a little bit different one of course when you're going to work with fluid mechanics we need this volumetric changes uh, of a body and strain energy again we need some cases we can read this just read these are just small values and same time some part i think from your a level knowledge okay and impact and definition of impact this is again extra reading material so you can read and you can get the clear idea and i'm not going to check these things so extra things i'm not going to check of course in this section i'm going to check about plain stress conditions not any other things okay these are just extra reading materials okay so this is the end of this session and i will upload our sixth tutorial okay please work with this sixth tutorial this tutorial you can see four questions if i'm correct no, three questions so three questions but there are some components and here you need to use of course we are giving the elements and i am interested about this plane stressors okay this plane stressors you need to use both you can see you need to use both okay both equation and more circle construction okay both you need to use it and to find normal stress and uh, tau for given plane this is a given plane 45 angle in here careful about the direction okay you know this direction positive and this direction negative we will work with this one but first we will better to try this one and you need to find the principal direction and principal is direction stresses and clearly you need to integrate in your element distress element and the last one determine the value largest here is stress okay largest here is stress and the plane of that one so these are the three cases and the next one about i'm talking about like very general now you know these things okay the only thing you need to develop uh uh sorry sorry what you need to do uh, sorry very. So you need to develop a uh, normal stress and shear stress variation of this one. So next this one. Normal stress and shear stress variation sigma and tau. And based on you can get this point. And first of course you need to develop. This is actually showing here. Sorry, this one. No? And you know this is cantilever. So based on that one you can put it M and shear force and bending moment diagrams. And after that you can develop this one and after that you can identify uh, this element stressors no uh, sigma sigma and tau of this element and if you know this one and after that others are similar to this previous cases of course in here also i'm asked to use both cases okay please use both and try to get the idea and third one of course something kind of very straightforward analysis so you have two planes to balance this one so how much about q or something so you can find it this you can try first and after that we can work okay and i will upload this sixth tutorial also okay so yes 
then this is the end of this today's session and i will come up with next session about deflection of peep that is a totally different section from the previous old section so until that so thank you very much